I call the June 27, 2023 City Council Special Meeting and possible executive session to order. City Clerk Ben Lane, please conduct the, ro the roll call. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor David Ortega. Present. Vice Mayor Kathy Littlefield. Present. Council Members Tammy Caputi. Here. Tom Durham. Here. Barry Graham. Here. Betty Janik. Here. And Solange Whitehead. Here. City Manager Jim Thompson. Here. City Attorney Sherry Scott. Here. City Treasurer Sonia Andrews. Here. And the clerk is present. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we have two items as posted and agendized. The first item is to uh, regarding boards, commissions, and task force interviews and appointments. I will now turn the meeting over to Vice Mayor Littlefield for the boards, commissions, and task force interviews and appointments. Thank you, Mayor. The Scottsdale City Council is responsible for establishing city policies and enacting laws in support of those policies. The Council relies on volunteer citizen-based boards and commissions to research issues and make recommendations in support of the Council's mission and goals. The information and recommendations provided by Council-appointed advisory boards is a valuable tool in helping council members in their deliberations. This afternoon, the City Council will be appointing Scottsdale residents interested in serving on various boards and commissions. And I want to thank the individuals for their willingness to volunteer their time in service to this community. Following the set of interviews, we'll vote on an appointment for each of the boards or commissions. As I call your name, please approach the podium and briefly cover the following issues. For the record, state your name and address and how long you have lived in Scottsdale. Please tell us how your education, employment, or volunteer experience relates to this particular board or commission, and what is the top issue facing this board or commission. Please limit your comments to two minutes or less and we do have a timer by the screen to help you manage your time. Following each nominee's response, I will ask the council members if they have any follow-up questions for you. Our first um, committee, Citizen Bond Oversight Committee, will be uh, first on our list. It has one opening. The Citizens Bond Oversight Commission receives reports on the city's progress in implementing the bond program, reviewing any proposed project changes to the program, and providing comments to the city council with respect to the bond program as the committee deems appropriate. There is one vacancy and there are five nominees. The nominees are Brian Colin, Joe Dubois, Austin Fairbanks, Rudy Fisher, and Robert Rogers. We will start um, with Brian Colon. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, Mayor Ortega, Vice Mayor Littlefield, and Council Members. My name is Brian Coughlin. I live at 9758. East Celtic Drive. I've lived in Scottsdale for about 13 years now. Um, I thought I, from a, from a background perspective of why I thought I could lend a hand on the bond oversight committee is that one of the toughest pro, one of the toughest areas for this area is keeping on budget. Uh, budget is very key. Cash is a scarce resource. With inflation that we've experienced over the last several years, many budgets have been just off, uh, faced a difficult time. I think it's, uh, while most inflation have come down, we're still seeing some issues with wage inflation uh, currently. The other issue that we're facing here when it comes to budgets and keeping projects on budgets is the cost of capital. As we've seen over this last couple of years now, we've seen inflation increase, uh, rates increase by almost uh, twice as much as we've seen off of 200 year lows for interest rates. So my background from a budgetary standpoint, uh, I volunteer for the parent teacher organization for Redfield Elementary, which is one of the Scottsdale school districts. Did that for multiple years as the vice president of finance there, controlling all the budgeting. I also am lead on budgeting for my company here in Scottsdale, Arizona, which is Beacon Point Advisors. We employ about 30 employees here. I run all the budgeting for the local office here. 
I have about my undergraduate degree from University of Arizona in finance. I've got my graduate degree from Arizona State University, uh, Master's of Business Administration. I've worked in finance for over 20 years. I actually worked in the bond side of the uh, bond underwriting for First Interstate Bank back in the day, for those of you who've been in Arizona for a while, uh, where we underwrote issues here for City of Scottsdale, City of Phoenix, pretty much city municipalities west of the Mississippi River. So deep experience within the municipal bond financing uh, and also deep a level of experience with budgeting for corporations and for uh, organizations. So uh, if there's any questions, I'd be more than happy to, to answer them. Anyone have a question? Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Next, we have Joe Du Bois. Du Bois. Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, uh, my name is Joe Du Bois, and I have been a resident of Scottsdale since 2018. I live in the Troon Villages area of North Scottsdale on uh, East Chama Road, which entitles me to navigate the gauntlet known as the intersection of Pima Road and Happy Valley Road at least twice a day, except on those rare occasions such as this evening where I experience an additional pass-through. In any event, I appear before you today as an applicant for your considered appointment to membership on the Citizens Bond uh, Oversight Review Committee. Um, I want to express my gratitude to the Council for your time and consideration of the application. I do believe that my life and professional experiences offer significant qualifications for successful service on the committee. <clears throat> Upon graduation from the Military Academy, I received a commission in the grade of Second Lieutenant in the Armor Branch of the Army. I subsequently completed Army Ranger School and joined the Elite Brotherhood of Army Rangers. My military service took me to multiple assignments, both domestic and foreign, as a small unit combat uh, leader. Uh, both the company and platoon level, I was recognized for my service with the award of the Army Commendation Medal, the Combat Infantryman's Badge, and two awards of the Bronze Star, among others. Leading soldiers has remained an honored highlight of my life. While in completion of military service, I left the Army as a captain and returned to my home in Southern California where I completed law school and successfully passed the bar exam on my initial setting. I then began my journey in the law. I began my career with a petite law firm uh, which afforded me the opportunity to concentrate on civil litigation matters and rushed me to the courtroom right away. Uh, I also have had a foray in domestic relations and criminal defense matters um, and as a result, uh, I think I've gained uh, a, a variety of legal experiences. Uh, I've had a, uh, the, the practice has afforded me valuable and extensive counseling of business, uh, various businesses, and I successfully represented clients in diverse contract and licensing matters, including matters involving uh, questions and controversies surrounding public works projects. Um, I've long been a, an advocate of uh, uh, public service for citizens, and I believe that this is the model bequeathed to us by our founders to which they adhered. That was true in the other great area of the service to the nation, that of the military. Thus was born the concept of citizen soldier and citizen politician, and in one small way I seek to fulfill a personal charge to follow that example by a seeking appointment to this uh, particular committee. As you recall from attending our graduation on May 2nd, I recently completed the Scottsdale Government uh, 101 Citizens Academy. Uh, that course was extremely well conducted and more to the point, whet my appetite for uh, citizen involvement and service to Scottsdale. Sir, your time is up. Could you wrap up, please? Uh, yes. <laughs> as, as most trial lawyers, I tend to be prolix and, uh, and talk too much, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, have, uh, I, I think I've submitted my resume containing my uh, public service as well as leading uh, various organizations from chambers of commerce to uh, organizations uh, setting forth uh, many uh, events in the public sector. So thank you very much for your consideration and I apologize for running over. <laughs> thank you. Are there any questions? Okay. Uh, next we have uh, Mr. Austin Fairbanks. Honorable Mayor and Council Members, good evening. My name is Austin Fairbanks. I live at tw uh, 2938 North 61st Place, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. I've been a Scottsdale resident for on and off about 20 years, um, most of my life. 
I'm applying to serve my home city as a member of the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee. I'm interested in service on the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee for a couple of reasons. The first is a desire to give back to this community. Uh, I graduated from Desert Mountain High School, uh, attended ASU, I'm a third generation Scottsdale resident, and a recent home buyer in Scottsdale, so I have a vested interest in the continued well-being of this community. My second reason is that I want to put my professional and academic experience to work in this committee aligned with my abilities and uh, interests. I have a master's degree in economics, where I concentrate on state and local public policy, as well as public finance. I currently work as a nonpartisan research analyst at the Arizona House of Representatives uh, on the Committee on Appropriations, and I'm a, in this role, I'm the lead nonpartisan analyst. I assist policymakers in passing and amending state public finance laws, including bonding. I also provide research assistance and logistical support in the passage of an over $18 billion state budget. Finally, in the role, I'm comfortable reading and analyzing capital improvement plans, which is an important role of this uh, committee. As for the biggest issues facing the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, I believe that it's the reported $100 million plus uh, gap in between, that was caused by inflation in the shortfall in the bond 2019 issuances. And while council has wisely supplemented part of that uh, with other city funds, inflation has still caused a tension between what we understand is what the voters voted for and what inflation or economic realities uh, allow. So as a result, the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee is gonna have a, uh, a time ahead of itself to making tough recommendations to you, our elected city leaders. Uh, my approach in, to this issue will be to seek to balance return on investment on projects as well as uh, the needs of our communities, especially public safety needs under question three, the third bond question. Uh, one quick example of how I do that. At the last uh, board, uh, committee meeting on June 12th, there was a question about reallocating some of that question three money. Uh, it was an IT project that had a savings and then they decided to allocate that savings to another IT project. But in doing so, they eliminated all kinds of public safety projects that could have also used those savings. I would consider that option. Uh, with that, uh, so my time's expired, so I appreciate your, uh, any questions you might have, and I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Are there any questions for this gentleman? Thank you so much. Next we have Rudy Fisher. Mr. Mayor, City Council members, thank you for having us tonight. Um, I'm Rudy Fisher. I live at uh, 10260 East White Feather Lane in, uh, up in True North area, very close to the True North Golf Course off of Dynamite. Um, though I've only lived in Scottsdale for a little over two years, uh, in that time I've completed the Scottsdale 101 program earlier this year, where we came to see you guys. Um, I finished the Scottsdale Water Academy last year. Um, I've gone through several CAP University sessions, and I'll be doing another one in July 11th when they have the class, um, and done a couple of other things with the city here. You've also seen me at some of your meetings, and certainly uh, I was here at the new member swearing in, uh, which was a nice event. I've served on boards and commissions in several cities in the past, as well as eight years on a city council in California, five years on a water board. Um, and have worked a lot with bond financing, bank loans, uh, state revolving fund loans, and grants, which are always nice to get. Um, in watching the committee's meetings, I'm impressed by Danworth and, and the committee and the work they do. I think they do a good job in managing the, the funds that the city has from the 2019 uh, bond. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for both the committee and the council, though, is coordinating the, the bond funds, along with uh, general fund revenue, or general fund money and uh, donations, such as uh, for the, I think it was from one of the theaters that they had recently. Um, one of the problems, or two of the problems actually, are higher inflation and the fact that we have higher interest rates now than when the bond fund was approved. So I calculated that earlier today, and inflation uh, is taking about a 20% cut in the last four years. Now, Dan, in a recent meeting, actually had a higher number, but he was using the uh, producer price index, which is probably more appropriate for, uh, for something like this. Um, but in either case, we have to watch the money carefully to make sure that we get the biggest bang for our buck. Um, I think the board needs to work very closely with Dan and with the city to make sure that, uh, that that happens. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions? Okay. Thank you. And we also have um, Robert Rogers. Uh, Mayor, members of the council, thank you. Um, my name is Bob Rogers. I live at 8426 
East Lacenda Drive, that's just to the west of Pima Road and to the south of Pinnacle Peak Road. Uh, I've been a permanent resident of Scottsdale for 18 years, been coming here all my life. I feel like a lifelong resident. Um, I'm a retired attorney. I worked as a state deputy attorney general, as a writer, and I spent the bulk of my career in Washington, D.C., representing telecommunications and information technology companies. Um, I first got involved in uh, Scottsdale Matters 12 years ago uh, when I took the City Government 101 course. Um, subsequently, I took the Citizens Police Academy program, very good program, and uh, I've served on the, the Consul's Neighborhood Advisory Commission, and I was chair of the Neighborhood Advisory uh, Commission. I've also, I also served as a, as a member of the Citizens 2019 Bond uh, Steering Committee. Uh, I think the media challenge facing, that's like a pitch clock, I don't know where I am with <laughs> the two, two minutes. Uh, oh, here it is right here. Uh, I think the immediate challenge for this committee is to monitor and shepherd along, prod along as effectively and efficiently as it can fulfillment of the 58, or as many of those 58 promises that were made in the bond issue. Um, and I think longer term, the, the challenge before the commission is going to have to be to pave the way for citizen support of future bond initiatives and other funding initiatives. There are always opponents in these matters, and uh, undoubtedly they will probably point to the 2019 bond program, and uh, they're not likely to be confused by the facts of inflation and other economic uncertainties. But I think that the committee can pave the way through the development of messaging and communication strategies to to pave the way for the kind of citizen support that future initiatives need. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are there any questions for this gentleman? Nope, seeing none. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will um, now entertain a vote for the Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, and each council member can vote for one nominee. We'll start with um, Mayor Ortega. Joe Du Bois. Uh, Joe, Joe Du Bois. Mr. Du Bois. Mr. Fairbanks. Uh, Robert Rogers. Mr. Du Bois. Mr. Du Bois. And Austin Fairbanks. This was a very tough choice, by the way. <laughs> um, we do have four votes for Joe Du Bois. So he has been nominated. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of you for your interest in this particular committee. It's a very important. Mayor, uh, Vice Mayor Littlefield, if I can just remark on the quality of candidates. Yes, yes, very. All across the board, thank you. Very yes. high, thank you so much. Okay, Joe Du Bois, it is. Our next commission is our Historic Preservation Commission. We have one opening. The Historic Preservation Commission oversees the development and management of Scottsdale's Historic Preservation Program. There are special qualifications for this position. As outlined in the Scottsdale City Code, each member shall have demonstrated a special interest, knowledge, or experience in at least one of the following areas building construction, history, architectural history, real estate, historic preservation law, or other historic preservation related fields. There is one vacancy and there are two nominees. The nominees are Michael Buchik and Jay Panzer. I believe uh, Mr. Buchik will be participating this afternoon telephonically. Is that still correct? Yes, okay. We will begin with Mr. Buchik. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mayor Ortega and Vice Mayor Littlefield and council members. I apologize for not being able to be there in person today, but uh, certainly appreciate the opportunity to interview. My name is Michael Busek. My address is 24708 North 109th Street in Truman. That's near Alma School and Happy Valley. Um, I've kept a home in Scottsdale since 2004, but initially moved here in 1983. My uh, experience is I have over 30 years 
of experience in marketing, which I feel would allow me to make contributions to the goal of increasing public awareness of Scottsdale's heritage. Um, I also um, worked for the Milwaukee Brewers for part of my career as the Vice President of Ballpark Development for the Brewers, and had a great deal of experience working closely with our design team, our architects, as we designed a new ballpark, while, which represented Milwaukee and would be a source of civic pride while reminding people of the city's heritage in baseball. Um, I also was able to uh, work very closely with our um, public entity, the Wisconsin Stadium District Board, throughout the uh, design and construction of that, uh, of that great facility. Um, earlier in my career, I also worked for, uh, served on the King Park Economic Development Commission, to the King Park of the Village in Illinois, and uh, certainly learned the workings of a village um, through that process. Um, I think the top issue is for the committee is balancing the growth of Scottsdale while recognizing its past and preserving its history, um, and certainly educating uh, the residents on the history and help generate more civic pride through the um, commission. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? No? Thank you so much, sir. Uh, our next candidate Thank is you. Jay Panzer. Mr. Mayor, Madam Vice Mayor, my name is Jay Panzer. I've lived in Scottsdale for two years at 6333 North Scottsdale Road, uh, Casita Number 6. While a relative newcomer to the city of Scottsdale, I'm hardly a newcomer to building design and construction, historic preservation, or the function of a city commission. I've spent my career consulting on the design, construction, and restoration of both contemporary and historic structures. As Director of Facility Development for the Columbus Association for the Performing Arts, I directed the restoration and modernization of the Ohio Theater, a 1928 motion picture palace, and the restoration of the Southern Theater, an 1896 opera house, along with improvements to all of Kappa's buildings in Columbus, Chicago, and New Haven, Connecticut. During almost three decades in Columbus, I lived in the German Village Historic District, one of the old, oldest such districts on the National Register of Historic Places. In 2004, I was appointed to the German Village Commission, a quasi-judicial body of the city of Columbus. Similar to the commission to which I am applying today, the German Village Commission is responsible for review and approval of all modifications, additions, and new construction in the historic district. I sat as a commissioner for over 16 years, nine of them as chair of that commission. Throughout the history of any city, managing change presents significant challenges. Scottsdale is no different. Throughout my professional and volunteer work, I have recognized that the juxtaposition of the historic with the contemporary is incredibly challenging, whether it is the addition of solar panels to a resident's roof or a major addition to an historic building. Our community must look at its historic fabric and determine what is intrinsic to its nature and how to preserve contributing structures and integrate them into the ever-changing landscape. While I am not a believer in old is good and therefore everything old must be treasured and preserved, I am a believer in maintaining the essential character of a community's built environment, which is the sum of its parts, both old and new. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Are there any questions? Thank you. Okay, I will now entertain a vote for the Historic Preservation Commission, and each council member can vote for one nominee, and we will begin with Councilwoman Whitehead. Jay Panzer. Mr. Durham. Mr. Panzer. Mr. Panzer. Council, if I could just have you pause just for one moment. We're having some technical issues here, so I'm going to have to note it by hand. Sorry about that. If we could start all over, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Councilmember Graham, your vote was for Mr. Panzer? Yes, please. And Councilmember Durham? Mr. Panzer. Mr. Panzer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Michael Biacek. Hmm? Michael Biacek. Mr. Panzer. 
Mr. Panzer. Mr. Panzer. I believe Mr. Panzer has been yes. uh, appointed. Thank you so much, both of you, for your interest in this particular commission. It's a very fascinating area. Okay, next we have the library board. I think we'll wait. <laughs> can, can we ask yes. folks to bring the microphone more to their mouth? It's, um, it's hard to hear. Yes. Everyone could just pull the microphone over while you speak. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's easier to get a firm voice that way, so that would be helpful. Okay. We now have our library board uh, nominations and appointments for tonight, and there is one opening. The library board advises the city council on general policy relating to the program services and the future um, development of the Scottsdale Public Libraries. There is one vacancy and there are four nominees. Eric Gould has withdrawn his application from consideration. The nominees are Jan DeBacchus, George Hartz, Leslie Toten, and Christine Wilson. We will begin with Jan DeBacchus. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Council Members, my name is Jan Dubaskis. I thank you so much for having me here today. I live at 9228 East Mohawk Lane in Scottsdale. I've lived there for uh, about 10 years now. Um, I'd like to give you a little bit of history about myself. I'm a lawyer, a wife, a mom. And in my professional career, I have served as a corporate secretary on a board. And you can imagine as a lawyer, I have spent a lot of time in the library. <laughs> so I have a lot of professional experience within the library. Um, and most recently have become a certified substitute teacher. And I'm teaching in the Phoenix Union School District with underprivileged children. Um, in the volunteer realm, I recently completed the Citizens 101 Academy, which was a wonderful experience. I'm a member of the Scottsdale Unified Wellness uh, Committee uh, for Scottsdale Unified School District. Uh, and personally, my children, who are in first and second grade, love the library. We love to go there for the wellness uh, days with the therapy pets, um, as well as for the story hours. It's a wonderful system that we have here, and my children are very much involved in it. What I see as facing the issue for the library is relevancy. We're facing a time of digital use. We're facing a time where seniors, who are our, the majority of our population, aren't going out as much anymore. So how do we get the library into their hands more? Part of it is bringing the children in. And when we bring the children in, we bring the parents in as well. I'd love to see more partnerships with Scottsdale Unified. Um, but I also think that the programs that the library offers are wonderful. There's music, there's all kinds of interesting programs. I'd love to see us market that and get that out into the hands of the library users so that we can really take full scope of it for now and into the future. Now we know from uh, our city that we have a very long and, and interesting city because of the length of it. So we do have some challenges, book drops, things like that that we could do to get more books into people's hands could be helpful as well. So I appreciate the opportunity to speak here and I ask for your vote for the library board. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? No, thank you. Next we have George Hartz. George Hartz, are you here? We'll, we'll move on to Leslie Toten. Good afternoon, Mayor Ortega and council members. My name is Leslie Totten, like rotten. <laughs> So <laughs> uh, I live at 10665 East Saguaro Drive, and I've been a Scottsdale resident for 40 years. I have participated in the library over the past 40 years, myself, my husband, my family, in a number of different uh, areas. My current position is the Chief People Officer at First Things First, which is the Arizona Early Childhood and Development Board. 
I hold a master's degree in early childhood education with an emphasis in early literacy. So literacy is an important aspect of all of the work that I do across the state of Arizona and especially in my community, Scottsdale. I have acted as a volunteer at the Arabian Library Bookshop when it was at the Desert Mountain Campus. My children have participated in all of the summer reading programs. My husband and I participate in all of the activities, speakers events across all four locations of Scottsdale Library. I feel like the city of Scottsdale has done an outstanding job promoting library services across the community, and I hope to continue to support awareness and engagement of community residents but also for visitors and guests, because I feel like the library can be an anchor for tourism, because not only do uh, visitors come to find resources, but they look for the culture. So the library is an excellent place to promote culture and to promote the, promote the heritage of our city. I also think that there's an opportunity to partner with other library systems from a statewide perspective to consider leveraging resources from federal and state resources. So I thank you for the nomination and I look forward to hearing who you select for the library board. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions for this lady? No? Thank you. And uh, next we have Christine Wilson. Hello, Mayor and Council. Well, I'm not close enough. Uh, council members, thank you so much for inviting me to come. This is my second time to try this, so let's see how it goes this time. Uh, my name is Christine Wilson. I'm at 10319 East Pershing Avenue in Scottsdale, and I've lived here since 1996, so 27 years. She had me feed it, beat at 40. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love libraries, and I've always spent a lot of time in libraries, and I'm very, very... Uh, interested in helping to make them better in any way I can. And I volunteered as, um, vol I volunteered all through high school, junior high, in the, in the library, that's where it kind of started, but I've always read a lot. And uh, so it's something that's been a part of me for a long time. As for community service, I have um, I served um, as a um, board member for a Welcome Wagon Club in Kansas City, as well as the president of that for a term. And I've also organized and led a lot of mission trips for my church. So I have done a number of volunteer activities through all of that. Uh, degrees, I have a bachelor's and I have a master's. I, I used to be a teacher. Uh, my bachelor's is in education with foreign languages and my master's is in um, French literature. So I like to read, what can I say? <laughs> anyway, as far as what I would see being better, um, I think what they have suggested has been very good. I, me, I'd like to see, in addition to what they've said, I'd like to see um, more uh, reaching out more to the residents to invite them to come for different activities. I think a lot of people don't really realize what all the library provides for services. And so somehow making it easier for them to realize there is a resource here that they have never taken advantage of. And we would love to see them come and, and take part of it. So it's more than just books, okay? So a lot of people don't realize that because they never go inside a library. Anyway, thank you for the nomination. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are there any questions for this applicant? No? Okay. I, I'll wait just a minute. <laughs> okay. We will start um, with Mr. Durham. Ms. Totten. Ms. Dabowskis. Uh, George Hartz. Christine Wilson. Jan DeBacchus. George Hartz. Uh, uh, George Hartz. Sorry. Okay. Vice Mayor Littlefield, can I get your vote again, please? Jan DeBacchus. We're going to have to vote a second round yes. here. Just give me a moment. I think we need a second round here. If you will clear the board.
Thank you very much. Okay. We will begin with um, Mr. Graham. Um, Ms. Dubowskis. George Hartz. George Hartz. Jan Dubacus. George Hartz. George Hartz. George Hartz. George Hartz has been appointed. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Okay, our final uh, opening is for the Tourism Development Commission. There is one opening tonight. The Tourism Development Commission advises the City Council on matters concerning the expenditure of revenues from the transaction privilege tax on transit lodging bed tax designated for tourism development. Special qualifications are as specified in the Scottsdale City Code. The Tourism Development Commission shall consist of representatives of the tourism industry in Scottsdale, including a minimum of four Scottsdale hoteliers, one member of the Scottsdale Convention and Visitors Bureau, and a balance from elements within the tourism industry. There is one Scottsdale hotelier representative position vacancy and one nominee. The nominee is Jesse Thompson. Mayor, Council, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Jesse Thompson. I live at 7018 North 79th Street in McCormick Ranch. I've lived in the Phoenix Scottsdale area since 1976, so I have everybody beat. Um, <laughs> I have worked in the hospitality industry since 1990. I worked at a property in North Scottsdale called the Boulders. Uh, it was run by the Lyon family and Bill Nasikas. Uh, that is where I got a taste for hospitality. I then moved to the Point Resorts and uh, managed the Hilton transaction, them coming into those properties. Went on to work for Merv Griffin, uh, who owns the Hilton Scottsdale, the Beverly Hills Hilton and Givenchy Spa. I did area sales for him. And then uh, in 2001, I made the move to open a property in Paradise Valley called Sanctuary on Camelback Mountain. I've worked for that group now for a little over 21 years. I've opened Hotel Valley Ho and have been the director of sales and marketing there since its reopening in 2005. And I opened Mountain Shadows Resort in uh, Paradise Valley where I'm also the director of sales and marketing uh, for that company. I've recently been promoted to the regional vice president of operations and sales for the Benchmark Pyramid Collection overseeing the wigwam and other properties here in Arizona and throughout the mountain region. Uh, I think the number one um, issue facing uh, the, tourism de de the Tourism and Development Commission is um, taking our existing events, uh, putting some fresh eyes on them, looking for ways to broaden the scope of those events, and then looking for new events through the uh, Bed Tax Fund to make sure that our tourism dollars are spent wisely, that we're bringing new tourism into the market, and making sure that they come back in the future, so they need to be compelling uh, events. Uh, so. That's, that's my pitch, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Are there any questions? Okay. Then I now entertain a vote for the Tourism Development Commission and each council member can vote for one nominee. We'll begin with sure. Ms. Caputi. Well, even though we don't have many choices, I enthusiastically <laughs> appoint uh, Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Sir, you are unanimously appointed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. This concludes our appointment process for today. I would like to thank all of our nominees for their interest in serving on a city board or commission. We are very fortunate to continue to receive qualified applicants for these positions on our boards and commissions. Even if you were not appointed today, your application will remain on file for consideration at a future date if there are additional vacancies. City staff will contact the individuals appointed this evening and provide them with information on the next steps regarding their appointment. 
The City Council is very fortunate to have such dedicated and talented individuals who are willing to serve our city. Mayor, I now turn this meeting back over to you. Thank you. Excellent. So we're going to part two of our uh, special meeting. Uh, part two is a request for executive session. Um, may I have a motion to adjourn into executive session for two posted items? The first item is to discuss and consult with the city's attorneys for legal advice and discuss and consult with the city's designated representatives to consider its position and to instruct its representatives regarding ongoing litigation in the matter of Andres Dominguez versus the city of Scottsdale currently pending in the United States District Court, District of Arizona. The second item as posted is to discuss and consult with, uh, with city's attorneys for legal advice, discuss and consult with designated representatives of the city to consider its position and to instruct its representatives regarding negotiations for the purchase, sale, or lease of real property, and discuss and consult with the city's attorneys to consider the city's position and instruct its attorneys regarding contracts that are subject to negotiations. These matters all pertain to real property located near the following locations. In Scottsdale, Arizona, Miller Road and McKellips Road, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85257. Another property, Miller Road and Osborne Road, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. Uh, Miller Road and Main Street, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. And 64th Street and Osborne Road, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. Do I have a motion? So moved. Thank second. you. I have a motion and a second. Please register your vote. So, thank you. We are adjourned into executive session. And um, um, our regular, our regular uh, meeting will begin at 5, five o'clock.